lot of little stuff here and the water really keeps them moving so that we can uh, pick them out from all of the debris. Uh, Here's another one. Most of these are you know, born over the fall and the winter time and they really start growing right about now. That's why there's a lot of little stuff. But they're real wigglers so that as long as you keep water on the thing that uh, it's a little easier picking them out. And what we try to do in the uh, when we're picking them is to put them in a ice cube uh, section there, that tray section, that uh, we can keep them the same ones all together. And in that way, it's a lot easier at the end counting what you have of each of the species. Otherwise, you have to kind of move them around in the different cubes in order to do that. What else we have? These are caddisflies over here. These are what they call net spinning caddisflies and they actually spin a little web uh, net type of thing um, kind of next to them in the water between rocks or some debris and then uh, they uh, pick things off of uh, the net as uh, something comes on that they want to uh, use for food uh, almost like a spider type of thing and here's another flathead particularly small are these midge larvae which are just little wiggling things some of them are Biting midges, which are the kind that uh, we buzz around you, or not buzz around you, but fly around you, land and bite you, and, and people, of course, don't like that. Um, we've got some mayflies over here. These are, um, you can see how well they swim. Uh, these are flathead mayflies over here, and they hang on to the rocks or flatten them, and that's why they have a flat profile. We've got some of the common stone flies here, and you can, these are a little bigger, they've got two tails, whereas most of the uh, mayflies have three tails. These are some of our water pennies. These are really beetles that are almost like turtles because their head and their legs and everything are on the underside, uh, but most of the time they're turned over so that they, uh, you know, you don't see the underside of them like that. They're hard to sometimes tell from some of the debris. These are interesting. These are burrowing mayflies and they have little tusks, uh, not the front legs, but uh, by their mouth. And uh, they uh, actually kind of burrow through the sediments and, and uh, sand and, and things. So that's a spiny crawler. So fishermen would call that a sulfur or a Hendrickson. And trout love them. Because he does that little, what kind of dance do you call that? I scorpion. just call it, he looks like a scorpion. Looks like a scorpion. Scorpion. But he's a spiny crawler. You mean he curls his tail up? Yeah. Yeah. And he's the only guy that does that. Okay, we're going to call that an albino stonefly, mainly because we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> I've never seen one like that before. And it doesn't look like a, um, a common stonefly. I'm going to guess Perla did, but I really don't know. You would expect hairy armpits on a common, and I didn't see any with the naked eye, so. But he's so albino, you might not be able to see him. He would, he looks like otherwise he could be a common stonefly. Um, so Helga mites back in the 60s, they have, okay, so they have these big claws on the front. In there. See this guy, okay, look at this guy. See how, if you look at his face, it's very fearsome. And back in the 60s, ow! <laughs> They're tough. Fully version. Can you get it? Pete, Pete doesn't Can you get that? I think so. <laughs> um, so Here's back Pete, in the feet diving in the river. Here's Pete with a helmet. Right. <laughs> um, it didn't really hurt that much. I do it for kids. Stoneflies, <laughs> because stoneflies also, and these guys will eat all the other bugs in a heartbeat. You put it in a bucket, and they'll just scoop up the mayflies, and and the stoneflies will do the same thing.